head at Cebu Province TV based instructions program. Susu daily classes. Susu para aksesoro sepanjang hari. Good day, Grade 9 students. Welcome to Math Legends TV. I'm Teacher CJ. Today, we will explore how to illustrate situations that involve direct, inverse, combined, and joint variations. As you go through the lesson today, you are expected to first differentiate direct, inverse, combined, and joint variation. Second, create equation of variation in given situations. And third, display positive attitude in performing the assigned tasks. During the lockdown, almost all of us were forced to stay at home. As a result, the electricity consumption increased. The Santos family experienced the same. Here are the electricity bills for the previous month and this month. What was the problem of the family? Yes, the electricity consumption increased and the amount to pay also increased. The relationship of two or more quantities in math can also be called variation. Variations can be classified into four types, direct, inverse, joint, and combined variation. A variation is considered a direct variation when one quantity increases as another quantity increases. Conversely, one quantity decreases as another quantity decreases. It can be represented by the equation y is equal to kx where y is the first quantity, x the second quantity, and k is the constant of variation. These words will serve as clues or guides for us to determine that the relationship is a direct variation. Varies directly with, directly proportional to, and proportional to. How do we write the equation of a direct variation? Let's have some examples. Example number one. The cost C of mangoes varies directly as its weight w in kilograms what are the two quantities here correct cost of mangoes and weight in kilograms now what variables represent each quantity great c for cost of mangoes and w for weight in kilograms what are your clues? Great! Varies directly as. Now, what do you think is the equation of variation? You're right! C is equal to Kw, where K is our constant of variation. Let's have another example. Number 2. The weight W of an object is directly proportional to its mass M. What are the two quantities here? You're right! Weight of an object and mass of an object. What variables represent each quantity? Good! W for weight of an object and M for mass. This time, what is the equation of variation here? Very good! W is equal to Km, where K is the constant of variation. This time, let us proceed to the second type of variation, which is the inverse variation. Here, when one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases, or vice versa. 
The equation of an inverse variation is y is equal to k over x, where k is the constant of variation. Words like varies inversely with, inversely proportional to, serve as clues to tell us that the variation is an inverse variation. Let's have some examples. Example number one. The number of workers N needed to do a job varies inversely as the number of days D to finish the job. Obviously, if there are more workers, then a certain job can be done in a shorter period of time. What quantities are involved here? You're right again! The number of workers needed to do the job and the number of days to finish the job. This time, what variables represent each quantity? Great! N for number of workers and D for number of days to finish the job. Now, what clues do you have here that will help tell you the type of variation being expressed in this problem? You got it! Varies inversely. So, what now is your equation of the variation? That's correct! N is equal to K over D. You just have variations which involve only two quantities. However, there are times when problems involve more quantities. This is why we have the remaining types of variations. The third one is the joint variation. A joint variation occurs when a quantity varies directly as the product of two or more quantities. It can be written as y equals kxz, where y varies directly as the product of x and z, and k is the constant of variation. Some clues like varies jointly and varies directly as will guide us in determining that the variation is a joint variation. Example The area A of a triangle varies jointly as its base B and altitude H. What are the quantities involved here? Right! Area, base, and altitude. What variables represent each? Right! A for area, B for base, and H for altitude. What are the clues in the problem? Correct! Varies jointly. This time, what is your equation of variation? Exactly! A equals K B H, where K is the constant of variation. Finally, the fourth type of variation is the combined variation. It is a variation where a quantity varies directly with another or more and inversely with a third quantity or more. It can be written as Y is equal to kx over z, where k is the constant of variation. It is read as y varies directly as x and inversely as z. Let's have an example. The pressure P of a gas varies directly as its temperature T and inversely as its volume V. What are your quantities here? You got it right! Pressure, temperature, and volume. 
Now, what variables represent each quantity? Exactly! P for pressure, T for temperature, and V for volume. The first variable mentioned in the problem should be written first. That is P. Since it varies jointly with T, T will be written in line with K, which is our constant of variation. The word inversely tells us to go down. That is where you write your V. P is equal to KT over V. This is now our equation of variation. Let's have another example. M varies jointly as J and L and inversely as the square of H. Quite complicated? Let's see. What are the different quantities here? Good. M, J, L, and the square of H. What are the clues here? Varies jointly and inversely as. Now what will be our equation of our variation? Very good! We write M first and since it varies jointly as J and L, write J and L beside K. The constant of variation and below will be the square of H or H squared. Those are the types of variation. To summarize, we have the direct variation, inverse variation, joint variation, and the combined variation. Let's try. Give the equation of variation for the following. Let's start with number 1. The area S of a square varies jointly as the diagonals D and D sub 1. What is the equation of variation? Timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is S is equal to K times D times D sub 1 or S is equal to K D D sub 1. Let us have the second item. The cost C of a plane trip varies directly as the distance D covered. Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is C is equal to KD. Number 3. N varies directly as B and inversely as C. Timer starts now.
Time is up. The answer is N is equal to KB over C. If your answers from 1 to 3 are all correct, then you're on the right track. While staying at home, always remember, unplug electrical appliances when not needed, and keep your home safe from accidents caused by faulty wiring and related negligence. See you again for another episode of Exploring the World of Numbers here on Math Legends TV. Have at Cebu Province TV based instructions program. Subo Tele Classe. Sasu. Bata ang sentro sa pandemisyo. Dasig Subo.